and break this news. And I, quite frankly, I don't even know why in my life I'm in such a bizarro world. I'm not here bragging about all this. It's incredibly dangerous. There's no doubt they're trying to indict Pachinik right now because he comes on this show and blew the secrets of the CFR wide open here. There's no doubt. So I just want listeners to understand something. You're getting real information here, and I'm risking my life and my name and my treasure and my family to bring you this information. And I don't want your thanks. I want your prayers. Because we're doing something real here. And, and it, it's an example of how we can change the world together. You go up to Infowars.com. We have that article dealing with Pachinik I'm going to be covering later. But Obama administration pursues ex-State Department official for refusing to negotiate with terrorists. Steve Pachinik accused of being complicit in the murder of Italian Prime Minister. Folks, Pachinik's been accused of that in the BBC, the London Telegraph, uh, the big Italian papers for years. They're having an, a parliamentary con a governmental investigation last year of the CIA and the Army for that. And I'll tell you point blank, folks. I don't think Pachinik's a bad guy. He believes in what he's done. And I'll get him back on now that he's willing to talk about this. He's never been willing to talk about this before. But this is all Gladio type stuff. I'm not saying Pachinik was involved in that. But then there's the argument. Well, we stopped the communists from taking over. So we want to let the communists take over Italy, Alex? We did what we had to do in combat. Is is I mean, this is the attitude of these guys. And but 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 now you notice Gladio's false flags, folks. If, if you're a new listener, famous false flags. And you would see that as a false flag. Pachinik, they say, manipulated the Red Brigade into killing him, so that they could then turn everybody against the communists for killing the prime minister, who was popular. And, but still, he's not. That's not really a false flag in the classical sense. If he didn't negotiate and they killed the prime minister then how are they trying to indict him? He even gave the case number yesterday. We looked it up. It's on Infowars.com. It's a huge story. Now, 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 let's shift gears here, folks. I just got into that so you understand the level we're at. I'm, 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 I'm in this way above my head. I'm in this 1,000 feet above my head. But let's get something clear. Anyone in government, Obama, the Clintons, the globalists, Vladimir Putin, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, anybody who thinks that they're in control of this and that they're not in over their heads are lying to themselves. The truth is we're all in over our heads. The establishment is out of control. They can't even see the angles anymore because there is no chivalry, there is no honor. Pachinik was sanctioned on record for operations for the Army and the Pentagon and the CIA. This has come out in the, in the hearings. They declassified it a few years ago in Italy. That's when they declassified the government knew that Gladio was with the U.S. Army staging terror attacks and blaming on the communists. Separate thing, but in the same basket that the Italian government was in on as well. When you look at this, now they're trying to burn Pachinik and opening up this whole can of worms just because he comes on this show. You, you can guarantee he's, he hardly even you know, publishes books anymore. Uh, he co-authored stuff with Clancy, produced movies, you name it. It's kind of a shadowy guy. Nobody even knows what he really looks like. And then now they're trying to put him in jail. I mean, that shows how reckless they are. And, and then no one releases somebody like Bergdahl, who's clearly bare minimum AWOL for, for five terrorists, knowing now that even if they're not terrorists, people will start grabbing Embassy people, military people, officers, nobody's safe. I mean, you don't do things like this. You don't negotiate with terrorists. Their attitude was that the people at Waco were terrorists when they weren't. They were domestic group attacked premeditatedly. But they burned that place down and sent Delta Force in to blow up the church records vault, the concrete building inside, to kill the kids with a uh, shape charge mine on the roof because the, the attitude was we kill everyone, we don't negotiate with terrorists. And the Delta Force memo came out that we're going to be pulling triggers and this is not an arrest situation. We have the flare footage of him killing everybody that tries to go out the back. So anybody who's done these operations for the globalists now, you can be hung out to dry. So that's what I'm saying. Don't be involved in stuff like this. Don't do immoral stuff where you stage terror attacks, believing you're fighting something even more evil. So you do it to blame it on the evil, to bring down the evil. You don't defeat the evil, you become the evil. 
Now, when we come back, we'll talk to David Knight, holder to create Homeland Security Domestic Task Force in every town. It's coming. It's Northcom. Harvest Right is the world's first in-home freeze dryer. Freeze dry your own fruits, vegetables, meats, and full meals. With Harvest Right, you can prepare foods that last 25 years, preserving its freshness, nutrition, color, and taste. All your food can be freeze dried. So don't throw away your leftovers. Freeze dry them with this incredible in-home money-saving freeze dryer. Go to HarvestRight.com to see how the Harvest Right freeze dryer works. That's HarvestRight.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. This is Michael Steger, candidate for Congress in San Francisco. There's a vote this Tuesday. If you want to send a message to both political parties and their Wall Street backers, here's your chance. It's time we impeach Obama. He's like Dick Cheney, but worse. Torture, spying, wars, bailouts. He's a disaster. He went straight to Wall Street and never turned back. Next, pass Glass-Steagall just like Franklin Roosevelt and shut down Wall Street. It's time to put some bankers in jail. Then, go back to the policies of John Kennedy, reignite our space program and fusion research, and initiate big projects like water development to end the drought. You want a future? You want a nation you can be proud of? Then it's time to stop complaining and get out and vote. Tuesday, June 3rd. It's not about you. It's about the future. And now is the time to fight. This is Michael Steger, and I have approved this message. This message has been paid for by the Michael Steger for Congress campaign. Hi, folks. Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. We're here live. I'm your host, Alex Jones. Riding shotgun today are David Knight and Paul Watson. And I'll be handing the baton to them in the second and third hour today. I'll be hosting all of the shows uh, coming up next week back in studio. But I think it's great to get some of the other hosts in here because I think they do just as good a job as I do. In some cases, even better. David Knight's got really painful but also powerful news dealing with suffocating babies. Uh, the government's latest evil, because if they can set the precedent to do that, 
with premature babies and, and, and go, oh, it's bioethics, it's for research, you know, it's, we're shooting black people up with syphilis, it's for research too. Then, oh, it's just abortion, it's not killing a baby, it's just infanticide. Uh, then they can, they can get away with anything. So, you, you know, you've heard about them heating hospitals with burned babies and killing babies out of the womb. Well, how about suffocating babies? How about cutting off their oxygen? You or I do that, we go to prison and we should, but when the loving government does it, oh, then it's okay. So, uh, again, that is coming up. Uh, now, getting back to this article on Infowars.com, holder to create homegrown terrorism task force. Well, let me give you a newsflash. They've already done it. And the Viper teams and the TSA are to be the little federal minders. And they're moving to arm them now. It's already happened with the Viper teams a decade ago or more. And then it's locally trained special units of police who get extra pay. So everyone scrambles to want to be part of that. These special event police were first just the SWAT teams. Now it's basically half the force in major cities like Boston, New York. And this is the federalization of police and the new target, a Holder, you can go watch the video report at Infowars.com. Holder says it shouldn't be overseas and shouldn't be Al-Qaeda. Just what the secret document said six years ago. You guessed it, it's who? Veterans, gun owners, tea partiers, because they're with who? Al-Qaeda. Now, the White House is really with Al-Qaeda. 60-plus percent of the force attacking Assad for three-plus years is Al-Qaeda. It's on record, but it's public. It doesn't matter. No, no, no. I'm a libertarian constitutionalist gun owner. So, see, I'm a suspect now with Al-Qaeda. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I've also got Keebler elves uh, in my pocket. And I, I rode to work today on a unicorn. And um, when I go to the bathroom, folks, a potpourri comes out. I mean, I, mean, I don't mean to be gross here, but this is pure BS. And everybody knows it. But we need to call these scum out because it's meant to be over the top. But the general public goes, well, it's over the top. It must be true. And then the cops are just, get up against the wall. You might be one of them. I mean, it's just, no, I reject it, okay? I don't use the drugs the government ships in on record. I don't, I'm not involved in all the government corruption, all the corporate corruption. I'm not guilty. I'm innocent until proven guilty, not innocent until I'm proven a collectivist progressive slave. You people are the ones involved in all the weirdness. I mean, look at Akron and all these navigator groups they've got. Of course we predicted they'd be engaged in all these new crimes. And now it turns out in every major city, the navigators are just stealing money, stealing IDs, stealing ID. I mean, it's just, it's a criminal group, folks. And criminals get off on doing bad things. They get off on releasing a deserter with, with, and releasing five terrorists. They get off on teaching kids that... You know, and showing five-year-olds in public schools two men French kissing. A normal person just doesn't want to corrupt a kid with heterosexual or homosexual stuff. They're deviant, ladies and gentlemen. I never get sick of camping, never get sick of fishing, never get tired of hanging out with my buddies and laughing, never get tired of, you know, beautiful women, you know, looking at them, admiring them. I just like normal stuff. Never get tired of the Caribbean. Never get tired of the sun. Never get tired of enchiladas. Never get tired of playing with my children. Never get tired of beautiful art. Never get tired of great weather. Never get tired of being honorable. Just, just I'm not into screwed up things. They are. And they're coming after us. And they're saying we're Al-Qaeda. And if we roll over and let them say we're Al-Qaeda when they publicly run Al-Qaeda, then we deserve what we get. Attorney General Eric Holder unveiled his plan to create a new Justice Department task force this week, which will focus on the threat of homegrown terrorism in the video posted on the department's website Monday, which we, we have linked, but I want you guys to go get it. I want to play that. I don't know why we didn't embed it, but for whatever reason. In the video posted on the department's website Monday, Holder, in fact, just call Watts and ask him to link to it. Holder argued that the focus on terrorism should return to the U.S. as opposed to remaining overseas. We face an escalating danger from self-radicalized individuals on our own borders, Holder said, as the nature of the threat we face evolves and include the possibility of individual radicalization via the Internet. See, the Internet and free speech is terrorism now. It is critical that we return our focus to potential extremists here at home. The, we're going to come back and, and finish this and then get to... Uh, the special information is really incredible with babies. You know, I say cutting off oxygen to babies in the neonatal unit, I think that's terrorism. Promoting George Washington and private property and the family and guns is not terrorism. But to scumbag criminal filth it is, who wants to indict our guest, Dr. Pachinik, because he comes on this show.
We're on the march.